Hello guys, hope you all well. Well, this is a response to a video made by one itsy bitsy butterfly and she asked us 50 questions about ourselves. Well, here are my answers. Number one, do you wear a name tag at work? No way. Uh, number two, what kind of car do you drive? Well, I don't drive. Number three, what do you order when you go to Taco Bell? Well, we don't have Taco Bell here in Australia, but if we did, I'd probably go because I love Mexican. The food, that is. And number four, have you ever had a garage sale? No, I haven't. Uh, they're very popular here in Australia where they sell all their products, you know, the people in their houses when they're moving, whatever, from their own garage. In the UK, we have something rather similar. That's where I'm from. And you have what's known as a car boot sale. And you take your car to a field and there's usually loads of cars there and you sell things to the public directly out of the boot of your car. In the United States, I think they call a boot a trunk, you know, the back bit where you store things. Okay, next question. What colour is your iPod? I don't have an iPod, but if I did, it'd probably be white. At number five, or number six even, what kind of dog do you have? I don't have a dog. When I was young, we had a Cavalier King Charles, we had a Poodle and a Jack Russell. I'm allergic to dogs with too much dog hair because I have asthma. Number seven, what's for dinner tonight? I'll show you, very easy. I'm still eating, I know I shouldn't at this time of night. Just fling of the hair because I'm worth it. Okay, here we are. Chicken curry from Oxford Street here in Sydney, where I live. Mmm. Very tasty, me things. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full. At number eight, quite logically, what is the last beverage you had? A rose flavoured lassie. Beautiful drink. You don't seem to get a lot of rose-flavoured lassies, but it is very tasty. Stupidest thing you ever did with your cell phone. <laughs> Sent the wrong message to the wrong people. I'm not going to say what I said, but the wrong type of person could have got offended. Thankfully, that person had a pretty open mind and took it as a joke, which it was. And number ten, last time you were sick. I went to a very well-known chain restaurant which deals with sort of Japanese, Chinese food. You will have to sit together with other people on a long bench type table. I think you can probably guess where. And I went to the one here in Sydney and it was a nice dish. Next day I had the shits and I had them for three days and it was during the Queen's they're out to arrest me. It, it was during the Queen's birthday weekend here in Sydney, so of course I had all these engagements to go out with friends, and what do I have? Diarrhea the whole time. I really was full of shit. Nothing's changed. Eleven, how long is your hair? <laughs> Dole! Number twelve, are you happy right now? Well, I'm okay. Um, it's been an interesting beginning to the new year. There's been a few changes and a couple of issues to deal with, but it, it's pretty good. You know, I'll make 2008 a good year. Number 13, what did you say last? I'll make 2008 a good year. At number 14, who came over last? Well, <laughs> depends what you mean by that. Yes, I had to go to my great aunt who lives here in Sydney for the Australia Day celebrations. And I got a lift back very kindly from a friend of hers called Peter. Now, he's been a little bit ill of late, so thankfully and very kindly of him, he gave me a lift back, but he himself has a stomach bug, so he had to come up and use my toilet. So I let him use it. Number 15, do you drink beer? No, I don't think many of you know this, but I'm a teetotaler. I've never touched a drop in my life. No great reason why I haven't. I tended to miss that boat. I just really missed it. You know, it just never happened. Maybe it'll happen one day. Maybe it won't, but I've never had a drop. So, no, I don't drink beer. And I definitely don't drink non-alcoholic beer because I don't see the point. It's like having coffee without the caffeine or chocolate without the chocolate. Anyway, let's scroll down the list to get a few more questions. Okay, bear with me. Here we are. Have your brothers or sisters at number 16 ever told you were adopted? Uh, no. I don't think they have. I'm the eldest. What is your favourite keychain on your keys? Oh, there's a soap opera called Neighbours, and I just have the keychain. I went to the neighbour's shop and I bought a keychain, and I put it on my key. At number 19, 
Oh, number 18, what is the last movie you watched? Well, it wasn't really a movie. It's my favourite Australian series, Summer High Heights. Watch it if you haven't seen it. This is getting confusing. So many questions. 19, what is in your pocket? Um, I'm only wearing my underpants underneath, so we don't want to go there. Maybe you do. And maybe I will later. But hey, just send me a message. At number... Uh, 20. Who introduced you to your husband wife? Well, I, I don't have one. I'm still waiting, so please introduce me. Number 21. Where do you hurt? Well, I've slept on the floor lately for various reasons, and it's good for my back, but occasionally it's my legs or whatever hurt. But I'm pretty good at the moment. Number 22. Has someone ever made you build a bear? No, I've met many bears, but I've never built one. I've never mounted any either. Number 23, what DVD is in your DVD player? <laughs> Summer High Heights! Best Australian TV series, watch it. Number 24, what's something fun you did today? Oh, I went to see my friend at karaoke. It was a brilliant karaoke on George Street in Sydney, Scruffy Murphy's. The sound was absolutely dreadful today and this evening, but it was good fun seeing friends and everything. And it's been the Australia Day weekend, so it's been wonderful celebrating everything Australian. Happy Australia Day, everybody. Happy Australia Day weekend. Number 25. What was the principal of your high school? Well, we had Colonel Townend, who was at my high school. Then I had Mary Calcraft at my secondary school. So, yes, I had quite a few people. 26. Has your house ever been toilet papered? No, but I have had toilet paper in it. I've been toilet papered. But twice a day. Number 27. What do you think when you hear the word meow? I think of my pussy. And number 28. What are you listening to right now? Myself speak. Number 29. Drinking? Never. Number 30. What is your favourite artist? What is your favourite aisle at Target? We have, yes, we do have Target here. I've never shot, but funnily enough, I work in TV and I've actually been in a Target advert, which was interesting, but another story. Number 31, when is your birthday? July 19th, 1977. Number 32, what's the area code for your cell phone? Uh, 04, it's um, an Australian cell phone. Number 33, where did you buy the shirt you're wearing now? I bought it at Gap in Kensington High Street in London when I was over on a holiday. Number 34, is there anything hanging from your rear view mirror? No, I don't drive. 35, how many states in the US have you been to? I guess it's about four. Five. How many kids do you have? Uh, none, and all the kids I've had have been legal. Bad joke. Ignore that. Scrap it out. Number 37. What are you going to do after this? I'm going to download it to YouTube. Number 38. Who was the last person you went shopping with? Myself, I think. I haven't been shopping with somebody for a while. Number 40. What about your favourite dessert? Ah, uh, chocolate mousse. Number 41. What is something you need to go shopping for? I desperately need to buy a long sleeve shirt for work. They're all short sleeved, which can be awkward sometimes. Number 42, do you have the same name as one of your relatives? Yes, my great, great grandfather was called William. And number 43, mustard or ketchup? A mustard, well, ketchup wins every day. Number 44, do you like pickles? Love them, love gherkins too. What about olives? Even better, love going to the delicatessen to buy them. Number 46, what is your favourite kind of gum? Chewing gum, anything you can chew really. Um, really spearmint or something like that. Number 47, what is your favourite kind of juice? Mango juice. Number 48. Do you have any tan lines? Ooh, a few, but I tend to avoid the sun. Aussies age very fast. Number 49. What hospital were you born in? Westminster Hospital in London. And number 50, the all-important number. Do you remember the name of your kindergarten teacher? Yes, Lavinia. And the principal was Miss Wilcox. Lovely school, Miss Wilcox. I believe it may still be there. I saw her recently riding a bicycle. She hasn't aged. So those are 50 questions and answers about me. Look forward to hearing yours. Bye-bye.